Okay, this is a, a new video. I thought I'd do a new video on my um, digital desktop uh, for Peanut and uh, Blue DV because <coughs> I've added quite a few uh, new features to the desktop and uh, some new functionality and um, since I first uploaded and I'll give you an overview of those. Uh, I've designed the desktop um, because I wanted to try and find uh, an interface or design an interface that would group everything together uh, that I frequently use, Peanut and Blue DV apps and uh, various controls. So <clears throat> this is the uh, this is the interface and uh, this is the desktop and I'll run through the various uh, features and additions. Uh, okay, so top left here we've got a mic mute which mutes the microphone uh, and unmutes it, it toggles when you left click. As you'll see um, there's an animation uh, when I've um, mute when it's muted to show it's muted and also uh, audio confirmation when it mutes and unmutes. You won't hear the mute because it's muting the microphone that I'm using but you will hear the unmute. Uh, so I'll just left click on that. Activated. Okay, and left click again to activate it. Um, okay, to the right of that, uh, you have the um, volume control, which if you just hover the mouse over it, the center wheel, and scroll up and down, it changes the, the, the volume, the RX volume. And um, if you right click like that, it mutes the volume. So, and there's a flashing, as you see, LED indicator in the center to remind you uh, that'll stay like that whilst it's uh, muted. So, right click again to unmute. Below that, there is a audio output selector to select between speakers and headset and back to speakers again. Uh, so, if I kick in on that, that's headset, that's back to speakers. And you can see the volume control change here as well to whatever you've left the um, left it on previously for the uh, headset and the uh, speakers. Okay, to the right of that. You've got a clock at the top here, and you've got a VU meter, which is an RX, uh, sorry, a TX rather, VU meter. Um, as you can see, it's moving with my with my voice. When you need to set it up for the uh, microphone you're using, you right click in this main area here where the VU meters are, and from this list here, you select your uh, your microphone. Uh, so I'll just left click to, to cancel. That only has to be done once, but uh, you need to set it up for the mic you're using. Below that, you've got the QRZ, QRZ call sign lookup. I'll, I'll come back to that in a while. To the right of that, at the bottom here, you've got uh, a receive audio indication. Now, there's no receive audio going on at the moment, uh, but if I go to, up to anything that makes a sound, like uh, muting and unmuting this uh, volume control, and you keep your eye on the RX audio spectrum uh, analyzer thing down here, you'll see it blip when it gets that uh, high frequency beep. Okay, and you can see uh, that the bar graph is actually fairly over to the right here. And it's a very high frequency uh, bleeping noise. Okay, on top right here, you've got an audio mixer. There's only peanut fired up at the moment, so uh, Blue DV would appear in here as well. And you can change their relative uh, volumes and you can mute them here as well. So if I go over peanut, my left click, that's muted peanuts are uh, audio now while well, it stays like that. So left click again to unmute it. And if I keep uh, over the bar here and I just drag with the center mouse wheel up and down, that will change its relative uh, volume mix. Okay, so down on the left hand side here, we've got the PTTs for uh, one above each other, one for peanut, one for blue DB. Um, briefly, I did add a new feature uh, to the interface as a whole. Uh, you probably noticed that uh, if you hover over certain controls, this one, uh, the volume control, the two PTTs, and uh, the call sign lookup, they're now highlighted just to show you they're active control. So going back to the PTT, um, left click on it will we'll, we'll activate it, and again to, uh, to deactivate it. When you left click on it, I'll switch this program over uh, onto Blue DV for a minute, and I'll, I'll, the reason will become apparent in a moment. Um, I'm going to key up on peanut only briefly, um, but what will happen is it, when you key up, it will start a, a timer, a timeout timer, uh, which will run for two minutes fifty-five seconds. You can actually change that in the configuration file, but I've set it up five seconds short of uh, peanut's auto timeout uh, 
timing. So the indicator here, uh, where it says off air at the moment, will change and, uh, uh, and animate to on air. Below that, there is um, a, count a countdown timer will appear. The digits counting down from 2 minutes 55 to 0. When you get to 10, 10 seconds from uh, decaying, uh, the background graphics uh, behind those digits will change to red and you'll get a, tense, uh, a beep reminding you've got 10 seconds to go to your decay. So one of the features I wanted to do with this is I wanted to kind of automate the process of making PT, uh, the active window over Peanut or Blue DV, in this case Peanut as it will be, um, and then obviously keying up. Uh, so it'll send in the space bar uh, as it's set up in, in Peanut and Blue DV. So I'll click on it briefly, you'll see what happens. I'm on Blue DV at the moment uh, in the active window there, so I'll click on Peanut. And again to D key. Now you saw the timer digits come up there and the indication it was on air, and obviously you saw it key up in, in Peanut. The Blue DV works exactly the same way. There's no difference in the functionality at all, other than the program that's act, uh, switched to activated and keyed up on when you hit the uh, Blue DV uh, PTT. Um, so those are the PTT and timeout timers. Um, this main window here uh, uses a program called Stardock Groupy. I created a group in that. Um, Groupy, I think, costs about five pounds currently, something like that. Very versatile program for uh, grouping programs together. Now, once you group them, you can save them as a group, and that's what I've done here. Um, Peanut, Blue DV, and this last one, a web browser, which I shall explain in a moment. As you can see, Blue DV, you click Peanut, switch between them there. As I say, they'll auto switch when you key up, but uh, you can manually go between them there. And on the right, say, a, a, um, a web browser. Now I'm using a browser called Brave, which is free, and it's it's a very good all-round browser. It's not my default browser, um, and it's a browser that I install specifically for use with uh, this interface. Um, and it's got some nice features. When, when you see it, uh, it's got uh, the ability to take Chrome extensions. So I've got a couple of extensions in there, actually, which I'll explain when I come to them. So you can just go straight to the browser tab, or what I'll do is I'll go back to the QRZ lookup, and I shall put my call sign in, and I shall hit return. And as you can see, it's now looked it up in the browser, and I've uh, switched the browser tab. So that, that's that. Now I've also put in some... Uh, um, Hot, uh, bookmarks uh, dashboard for peanut and uh, you'll not really not notice I've renamed it from peanut uh, dashboard into uh, into, into um, uh, the um, just dashboard and the reason I did that it uses the extension um, which I got uh, from the Chrome store which just renames tabs and the reason I did it is because I've already got a, a tab named that uh, that's that's uh, instrumental to the way the PTT works. So um, when it gets gets on a, a peanut dashboard, which I'll show you now, um, this is its home page. This is what happens when you first uh, uh, when the browser first loads in. It will go here automatically, and that's the uh, peanut dashboard you'll be familiar with. Um, and um, what I've done uh, is I've um, I've uh, set it up in such a way. Um, that um photo chat room yeah sorry that was my audio coming in from <laughs> okay um from my voice control but anyway ignore that um so what i've done is i've set it up using another browser uh, uh, browser extension which enables me to hide elements on a page now this is just something i wanted to do as a matter of personal preference um because i personally i just want to see uh the um the two uh, elements here, last heard and online users, and um, I'll uh, just show you that that's working. I'll go to search. There we go. Um, so that's the browser functionality. Uh, of course, you can set up tabs, as I say. I've set up a few others here. There's uh, one for um, D Star uh, users uh, online um, and so on. You can because uh, it's it works in the same similar way to Chrome. You can hold Control key and, and, and zoom and change the font uh, and so on, just like Chrome. Uh, so it makes life a bit easier, perhaps. Uh, the um, Brandmaster DMR hose line, uh, there it is. Um, 
and a few personal tabs, uh, personal preference. So that's the browser. So you can just go there. It will default uh, when it first loads to the uh, to the peanut dashboard, and it will um, uh, it will just open up into the say into into the dashboard. Um, and um, well, that's it really, as far as the browser is concerned. But it's nice because I wanted to keep the browser in this interface, so I didn't. Uh, when I'm looking up, say, something on QRZ, or I wanted to go to um, one of his other lookups, uh, as I say, dashboard, or, or one of the other uh, lookups, I can just put them straight in here, don't have to leave the interface. If you're on here, and you're in QSO, say you're looking up someone's uh, QRZ page, as soon as you hit the PTT, uh, for Peanut or Blue DV, whatever you're on, it will automatically revert back to that tab. So you can see I'm in the browser now, I'm in... The, uh, in this case, the peanut dashboard. I'll click on PTT. And there you go. Switch back to PTT. Uh, sorry, peanut rather, and uh, and keyed up. Done what it did, what it's designed to do. Um, right. So one last feature. I've been trying to incorporate various um, <coughs> audio feedbacks from the start. Uh, um, various uh, alerts to let you know it's doing something. Um, Another feature I wanted to put in here, and I added recently, was this um, uh, magnifier, screen magnifier. Now it uses the Windows screen magnifier, and the reason for that I chose it is because it comes with Windows. No additional software, um, you can more or less guarantee that everyone's got it, uh, at least in later versions of Windows. So to enable it, you center click, hover over this uh, plate on the it's name plate on the right hand side here. I've got the mouse, and you center click. That turns it on. And as you can see, it's it's there, and it's it's come up at whatever mag magnification I left it on last. Quite high level of magnification, in fact, I would say. Uh, but you see, it does make life uh, a bit easier uh, with reading things. And of course, the the other highlighting controls here that I put in obviously still work with the uh, with the magnifier. So um, that's that. Uh, if you want to change the, um, the magnification, do it two ways. You either go back to this graphic and you can left click, which is going to zoom out, as you see, or right click, which is going to zoom in. Or, being the Windows magnifier, you hold down Control Alt and use the center scroll wheel to do the same thing to zoom in, to zoom out. Okay, and to turn it off, go back to the um, nameplate graphic here and center mouse click again. And that's uh, and that's it um, done. So I think I've covered just about everything. As you can see, if you watched the earlier video, I've added quite a, a few new features. Um, this is my second release uh, of the desktop, version 1.02. Um, I've uh, done a little bit of work since I, I released that recently, and I'll release this as version 1.03 uh, in the near future. Um, if you enjoyed it, if you, if, you, if you find it interesting uh, or you'd like to uh, try it out, as I say, I've got version 1.02. Uh, drop uh, me a, um, a line on my QRZ page, my email, QRZ email, uh, and I'll be happy to give you details. Um, and if you are using it, please give me some feedback uh, if you find it useful or anything's uh, not working uh, as designed. So there it is. Uh, that's my latest uh, update video update for uh, the digital dress dot so seven threes and uh, hope to hear from you soon g7 bhh